John Kenny, Jennifer at 706 p.m. This time we move on to um, approval of the minutes from the July 15th, 2019 meeting, pages 1 through 18. Changes? Second. Motion made by Kenny, seconded by John to approve the minutes of the July 15th, 2019 meeting. Kenny? Yes. John? Yes. David? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. yes. It's time to move on to approval of encumbrances. <coughs> There's uh, anything specific you want to go over? I know looking at uh, page two. A lot of them are pretty self-explanatory. If there's anything you need, page two for me, um, 47 on that. Um, those are for our bonds. I was like, hey, what is that for? Um, all of our people that need to be bonded, that's who we go through to do that. Um, 49, um, fire, uh, all of our fire extinguishers, things like that. One thing we're looking into with that, uh, Dennis Wright um, has been trained in a lot of things for us, uh, water heaters, uh, diesel engines, things like that. that um, We'll send him to a training. We've looked at it. Uh, that's about our yearly cost. If we send him get trained, we can save about six thousand dollars a year. So that's something we're considering on number forty-nine. Uh, number fifty is for our four-year-old program. He's all just coming to drive. Correct. Yeah. One thing, number one hundred, we did look at. Uh, we have we've had several cell phones out. A lot of people weren't even using them, so I think we're going to at least cut that in half. Um, it was ten thousand dollars a year. And we're pretty confident it's going to be way less than five, but that's what we've encumbered on that. Uh, we've encumbered five. Yes, and it was ten last year. And we're pretty confident it's going to be way less than change. five. Well, what we're doing, we're authorizing them to spend the yes, much on you know, those things. So this is a big month for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of stuff he's, for the year. He's allocating most of the budget. Is, is a lot of it's looking at last year and saying, hey, we're going to guess we're going to spend the same amount. Yeah. Some of those things we did cut back because we looked at them earlier and said, hey, no, we're not doing that again or we're going to cut that and down. And you can always change these later. Each month as we do so something, yes. Yeah. There's, yeah, Webster's, uh, there's one here, and then number 150, the other one for Webster's, uh, no, the, the 132 is the uh, ice machine for the band that they raised, or no, we paid for, um, the band, the band. Uh, they had been having to travel and get ice, now they have one right there in the band hall that we can do, so here's the Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of they take care of us and then the yeah. other one was for the AC unit on yeah. this building. So ten thousand for Webster's, six for an ice machine for Unless we've already done some. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then all the salary stuff was July payroll. Yeah, all the people who were only paid no. July of 12. Yeah, that is a month. Oh, that's our installments on the bank to pay off to the bank. Okay. Yeah. The 33000 something like that, or whatever it was. Um, it's showing for a while, but it will pay in first national. Oh, okay. Well, you can know what it is. I make a motion we approve the Cody's been busy. Oh, been moving around. 
No, he's been busy yeah, all over the place. Yeah, he's been busy. Yeah. We still got to get him housing here. That's the only thing yeah. that's not here. He needs to talk to me. I Look through the sheet if there's anything in there, um, but just looking at year to year, last year to this year, um, payroll very, very similar, um, bills a little bit more. What did we talk about? Um, oh, well, yeah, the difference on the bills. Uh, we just went over Webster's, you saw in there, there was 10,000 on Webster's that wasn't on there last year, so you see we're about 3,000, but really we'd be 7,000 under without the ice machine in there. Uh, on the bill, so it looks like a bad month, and it's not. But we had an air conditioner go out. Uh, we're going to promise to the bay that we take care of them. That's something they need, and they're going to use it all the time. And, uh, so that's where we are with uh, expenditures from last year to this year. Pretty similar overall. Cash forward, you can see five years. I mean, uh, still holding pretty steady. I mean, I don't. When I talked to the State Department Bishop Matt Holder, who's just leaving in terms of expenditures and what we used to say we wanted to carry over and what he recommends moving forward because um, times are better, he said right now I'm recommending 8 to 10 percent is what I would recommend on carrying over. Now, he said people are going to get there because they're never used to doing that. It's always been, hey, we're closer to 14 or 15 because we're thinking we're going to get maybe your cuts and like that. He said, nowhere do I see that coming. So, that would be the balance for us is how much do we want to hold on to versus how much do we want to spend in some of these areas. Um, so that would be something. Again, talk about what changes from last year. Hey, guys, I'm not changing anything. When they're ready to this, we're looking at all that stuff this year and expect some things to be looked at. But right now, I'm saying, hey, anything's changing. Uh, I'm not ready to make that call yet. So overall, pretty healthy financially. That was the report I gave the staff this morning is uh, – Hey, your job is to worry about kids and take care of kids. We'll worry about the money, but overall, just general statement, the money's pretty good. Relative to where it's been, it's real good. You know, overall, is it good? It's not great. We definitely have a lot more needs. Um, legislatively, the thing I would recommend, um, the building equalization fund is a big deal that I'm going to be talking about and pushing. Um, if, we'll talk more about that later, but that's something legislatively that I think is an equity issue across the state that can really help state and public schools out here. Uh, there's a fund that's been created in the state, but there's no money in it right now. So if they would start putting money in there, that could help out schools with um, seriously low outcome or who are not able to do some things on their own. So, uh, Didn't they put like 800 million in the rainy day fund? Rainy day fund's bigger. It's over a billion dollars. It's better. Yeah. And they, they were over 800 and then to have another yeah. 200 in there. So, I mean, Stid is out saying the prices on the rainy day funds yeah. in there. So. Yeah. Their, their cash reserves are great. Now let's go see about funding some other things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. <clears throat> okay. At this time, we move on to public comment. Board of Education invites public comment at this point in the regular meeting. A comments concerning agenda items. No one present for that. B other comments in accordance with policy BED-R. No one present for, present for that. Information items, superintendent's reports. Uh, be pretty brief on some of this stuff. Today was our welcome back. Um, had all staff members in the cafeteria this morning. Our child nutrition fed everybody. Um, all staff from all sites really did a pretty good meal. Had fruit, had bacon, had sausage, eggs, biscuits, all, I mean, you name it. Um, so we got to eat. Took a little bit longer than we thought. We started about 8.45. We're supposed to start about 8.30 this morning. Um, some of the things we wanted to make sure that have communicated to them and we wanted to repeat um, 
and I say, hey, there's a lot of things that are coming from me, uh, and they're coming from me. This isn't who we are. We're, we're developing who we are, but this is what my vision is for this district, is to be recognized as the very best school district in the state of Oklahoma at helping every student reach their potential. Uh, we did a little bit of that, made sure we talked about what that means. It means all kids can learn. That means other, it's not us bragging about ourselves, it's other people recognize us for doing these things. And then that every student has potential. Um, and the part of our job is to make sure we expose them to things and let them find their potential and nurture, nurture that and develop that. I think we've been tasked to making sure every kid that comes into our school system graduates. Uh, and then not only graduates, not only gets a piece of paper, but that, that piece of paper is a ticket to something, or whether it's a ticket to continue your education or to be gainfully employed and, and uh, start your career. Uh, so making sure there's meaning behind it, but making sure every kid uh, is involved in that. Uh, we talked about our three priorities when they're making decisions uh, in alliance with what's safe, what's helping kids learn, what is developing those positive relationships. And really a pretty cool thing for me this weekend was uh, setting this up for uh, my presentation to staff this morning and outside if you haven't seen it in the office. I mean, I've seen it and walked by it for months now and finally just took the time to look at it. Um, and it's the teaching, our teaching mission. And I've since seen it in, in some of the schools I've walked around today and made a point to look. Um, and where I read it, each of those paragraphs, I don't know if I put it in here, totally aligns. The first whole paragraph is all about student safety and setting the stage in your classroom for uh, being that learner. And it's okay to know when it's wrong and your peers and teachers won't ridicule you. Um, the second paragraph is all about learning and what we expect as our teachers to do to how to push kids and how we're gonna foster success. And then the last one was all about relationships. And I'm just like, how is this perfectly aligned in all the things that I believe that you guys have talked about since at least 1992 on this board? So, yeah. uh, just a little feel-good moment for me personally, but it just also gave me the uh, thought that, hey, I, there, there isn't, you know, for, for this vision and these values, mm -hmm. this aligns totally with this place. So I um, feel very fortunate to be here, and I appreciate you guys. This is one of the slides. I want to make sure that um, I tell you guys again, thank you. I um, feel honored feel blessed to be here. And, um, we have to play a little fun on Monty with this, so I hope you text him too. <laughs> we asked everybody to get their phone out and tell, text Monty and tell him a little thank you this morning, so hopefully he got Monty. And I get a response. By about 150, <laughs> I did about four hours later, but yes. <laughs> you, you probably said it, that this <laughs> Enough is your fault. Enough's enough, yeah. <laughs> Tapping out. This so. is your fault. Hopefully he got some good, and hopefully you guys get some goodwill too. And that was one thing I addressed with them, is hey, you know, I know I mailed you guys a letter and said, hey, Thank you, board, and thank you, legislators, because we've been able to do some things financially um, with the 1250 raises for support staff, for certified staff. Well, knowing that that letter goes out to all staff, so about half of our staff, and, and let them know that um, they are appreciated and they are valued. We couldn't do it without them, and that's one of the things that we're looking at this year is how can we make sure. The big thing for me is, is our certified staff. We have incremental automatic loyalty type of you're going to be here and you're going to commit to years of service you know it's going to go up we don't have that other support staff so that's one thing i'd like to look at this year and what that looks like and what that cost would be um, to incentivize people to stay around here uh, but want to look at our budget make sure we are where we need to be before we know it's anything um, was it on report posters? Um, some other things that i know i want to talk about in the future that are coming up um, Park updates, if you've been by the park, you've seen over there by the splash pad, there's about 10 loads of dirt and stuff. I know um, Flo Conklin has been working. She uh, asked myself and people to come over there. They're redoing that park right there. They've redone all of the trails, really just uh, sealing of the cracks and some things like that, but there's a lot of drainage issues right there. So they're gonna bring in some dirt and recreate that slope and let it flow out. Um, it's been just sitting right there and it's been a swamp. Um, it's gonna get slick. Yes. So they're going to raise that, they're going to slope that all up and then raise that part. Everything else can just be kind of once over, but that will actually be raised up. Um, making progress on the high school parking lot. Uh, custodial staffing, uh, what we've had in the past, we've had nine students that we've been able to employ as part of vocational rehab, that that cost has come from vocational rehab. Currently we don't have that. So we are right now seven short staffing to get into the year from what we had last year. 
the bad deal with that is it's not just hey we can go replace seven it's in our budget we had no budget for that in the past it's all been outside um, so we're working on a Voc Rehab says they will get back with us at the end of September on some possibilities on we might have kids, we might not, but you won't hear anything until the end of um, September. So we've got a little stopgap plan in place to hire some, some kids who have been working for us in the summer that are going to um, continue to work. People's recommending, Steve is recommending most of them will work at the high school, I mean, excuse me, at the middle school and the elementary after school's out. Um, so that's kind of our short term one month, two month plan until we find out what's going on with Boca Rehab. We'd rather not incur a cost. We've got to get the job done though. Um, so that might be something in a budget area that increases this year. Um, just simply because we had Boca Rehab last year. It depends if we get it or not. Um, softball parking area, school bus parking, that's still something we're working through right now. They're, they're in that gravel lot to the west of the football field. There's about 20 extra feet behind it that there's about six dead trees that need cut out it just we haven't got on the list to get that done other things have been more priority but uh, really feel if we can maybe get that out and back that up that can be a place to park the buses but continue to have softball parking and if we have some events and we need to move them we can move them but we just think on cleaning that seventh street up when you look down there um, really that's kind of been a focal point for us is going up and down seventh street and making sure when you look when you see and it looks good to you um, middle school AC units, uh, we started a project on covering the outside of those up and some things. Um, they're going to finish that. And then we've had a couple, our, our freezers um, haven't handled the 100 degree heat here lately very well. Um, they've, uh, temperature started, when you go take care of them, put a hose on them, things like that, they start dropping down. So we've considered, you know, should we put a shade top on it or something, or can we make it for another three weeks until it gets down? There's a alarm notification system that we're considering adding onto those units. There'll be a cost, we'll get some bids, but what that does will alert us if it does drop or heat up below a certain temperature that we can come by and check on that. Right now we're paying staff like on holidays and weekends to come check on those units. So we feel the cost if we get a, a security system um, will uh, we'll be wiped out with that. So those are just some of the things in the works going on in the future, um, some projects. If there's anything else, I'll answer any questions for you guys. Everything done that we started before the little stuff? Yeah, the, 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 yeah. The, the summer, the big ones, the teacher parking lot, we've got that on a recommendation to finish yeah. that off, and those guys are pretty confident they can come in here pretty quick on that. Um, clean up on some of the projects, you know, we've poured some of the sidewalks and walkways and stuff, and we've still, you know, leftover cement stuff. We just you know, the tidiness part of it is really the thing uh, that, that we've got to finish up before the 15th the next couple of days. So other, other, other projects, I think we're feeling pretty good about any other projects. The big thing, I mean, I've, I've already found out, I mean, I'm sure you guys all know, I mean, there's not a building here that doesn't need a new roof. I mean, there's a lot of things we're doing, in, and we can keep doing things inside, but we're spinning our wheels in that money to, I mean, we placed a bunch of ceiling tiles and did some things. We'll, the next time it rains, it's going out again. So we're, we're spending some money inside um, that until we really fix the top, we're just going to keep on spending that money. So that's that's something we've got to look at what the short term and long term plan is for our, even this building. Did our LED lights and all that stuff go good? Or? Haven't been affected. The only thing on that, I mean, it, it, is uh, we've got two lights instead of four lights. And, and it's yeah. adequate, but I'm telling you, when you put two lights in there and walk down the foot, I mean, it shines. Right now it's adequate. It's it shines. outside too. I mean, all yep. the ones outside on the outdoor buildings. Yep. And shine. most of those I think are single lights and it's a single light. So you it's see right. how much brighter those are. Yeah. Inside, I mean, they're the doubles and it's just twice as much. It's double the light. And, um, I don't know the cost of that, what it would be, but that's how we put the bid in. It was a two bulb yeah. bid instead of a four bulb bid. Uh, but no, those haven't been affected yet by any rain or anything like that. The project's done, we're just paying off on it. Um, the really, the only thing on that has been some of the timer issues, and I think they came back and fixed the ones in here um, that weren't working, and I haven't heard of any other complaints in any of the buildings. Yep. Right. This one, we move on to action topic A, consideration of approval of high school attendance committee 
1924 year, page 33. Make a motion to approve the recommended high school attendance committee. Motion moved by John, seconded by Jennifer to accept the, and approve uh, the high school attendance committee for the 1920 school year. John? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Uh, Kenny? Yes. David? Yes. Says yes. Action topic B consideration of approval of professional development committee for the 1920 school year, page 34. Make a motion to approve the professional development committee list on page 34. Made by Kenny, second by Jennifer to approve the professional <coughs> development committee for the 1920 school year. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. John? Yes. David? Yes. And Susie? Yes. Action topic C consideration of contract with Oklahoma State Board of Career Technology Education for Vocational Program for the 1920 school year, page 35. This is more for them, or it is for them more than it's for us. We want their money. Yes. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve the contract with the <coughs> career technology education. I motion made by John Singer by David to accept the contract with Oklahoma State Board of Career Technology Education for Vocational Program for the 1920 school year. John? Yes. David? Yes. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And Susie? Yes. Action topic B consideration and approval of yearbook attending the Yearbook National Scholastic Press Association Convention and Competition in Nashville, Tennessee. On April 15th through April 19th, 2020, students will be transported by school vehicle, page 36. Both of these are TBA kind of deals, and it's one of those, hey, let's not change anything, let's reevaluate everything and, and uh, see, but these are both um, things that they hope and plan to go to. They're not sure if they'll go to either one, but they just wanted to get it approved um, so they can consider targeting those. Raise the money themselves or? That's my understanding. Paid by your book. Say again. It says paid by your book. It says the school will provide a vehicle yeah. and a fuel or related to fuel. Who gets the air Yeah, one of them. Who will get the tow snow? You always have fuel. Air Let them shoot for you. make a motion that we allow uh, yearbook to go to these conventions if they get their nominations. Okay. Uh, motion made by John, seconded by Jennifer to approve the yearbook um, to go to the Scholastic Press Association Convention and Competition in Nashville, Tennessee on April 15th through April 19th, 2020. And your book uh, attend the uh, Columbia Scholastic Press Association Convention and Competition in New York City on March 17th through March 22nd, 2020. John? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Kenny? Yes. David? Yes. And Susie? Yes. Action Topic F, consideration of bids for 14 passenger van. Would you like you to look at all those, but it would be my recommendation after talking to Pipo uh, to really focus on page 40, uh, the Summit bus bid. The, the one from Dunn in town is actually $70 cheaper, but when you look at apples to apples and buses to buses, two totally different buses. The one from Seven, the one from Summit, uh, much bigger, it's six foot bigger bus. Um, I'll have to go back and look, but it's either a V8 or a V10. The one from Fort would have been a six we would have no storage with them so uh, for virtually the same price summit's the one we bought our last two buses from they're they've got a shop right here in muskogee uh, people and tom were very happy when they work with summit uh, in terms of service that they get the price that they get um, the other option would be uh, we do have the, the conference here in a couple weeks or next weekend and then um, that a lot of times they have um, some conference rate and things like that um, to get that we might save a little bit of money doing that but we push it for another month so what money we might save we might be out in terms of which is, uh, uh, pay that, pay that, excuse yeah. me, pay that. Um, that when I talked to uh, Dr. Kettles about transportation it said um, hey I give me a cost-benefit analysis here I know we did it somewhere else what would it look like here? What would we use that for? So
so you can see if we did go to it's about the cost of a suburban but you can haul twice as many kids in this day and then all the people at the bottom listed who would utilize that who are now not out of class or we're having to pull a route driver off to drive somebody and we're having to help pay a substitute and it is a custodian now we're missing a custodian so we feel we get a lot of value out of having a 14 passenger um, and it might be even something in the future that would recommend to get two of them but until we get one and fully utilize it, um, we're just going to hold off there. So either way, whether you guys think we need, we, we need to uh, ask, um, I don't know if we can make a recommendation to say move forward on this and we can call and ask. My only thoughts are, are do we want to wait a month to the next board meeting and do it, or is there another way? Um, I motion to approve the Senate for this Motion made by Kenny, seconded by John to um, buy a 14 passenger van uh, from Summit Bus for $53,870. $53, Kenny? Yes. John? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. David? Yes. yes. Action topic G, consideration of the district sub subscription to the OSSBA Digital Board Assembly Meeting Services, page 44. Page 44, they gave us two um, two bid options. There's another one with a bunch of other services that didn't feel we needed, so I've only uh, put tier one in there. They will come meet with our staff um, and, and get us onboarded, as well as be at our next board meeting to make sure everybody in here is comfortable using that service. Uh, something I know we've talked about for a while, I think it something that will save us a bunch of time and paper and effort in the future. And then it's fifteen hundred after that. The first year is twenty five services. So we're gonna replace all this with the digital tablet some sort. The the thing that yeah we'll need to get with you guys in the next month is what do you want? Do you want an iPad? Do you want a Chromebook? Do you want something? do you need something? Because we'll be in here and what I'm used to seeing is everybody's on an iPad. Not comfortable. I mean, it's it's online. So however, you, whatever we need to do to make sure you have what you need, but everything will be online, so you can see it in, a, in like an email. And instead of saying page 33, you can touch your finger on it. It opens up that attachment. And you can see whatever it is. You can go back and search last year's stuff or previous years. Um, so it should be pretty handy for us. But we'll need to coordinate with you guys on what you want for a device. I think it's, yeah. it's worth a shot. I wonder what they would recommend. iPads is what, I mean, and the lady who does it, she's an iPad fanatic. I mean, uh, in email. Well, we all have iPhones and iPads. Are all like, uh, if, you, uh, if you want to print a page, yeah. you can say, I, I want to see this yep. page and i print this. You would have, I mean, depending on where you are, how you have your printer set up, but yes, yeah. I mean, like if you were so in here. So we print the page if we want it. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. We're going to take it to the yeah. You're going to have, you we're going to give you a device if you need a device. <laughs> you got to have a device. So yeah. if you, if well, you I didn't know if the device stayed here. Oh, no. It's yours. Yeah. So because you got to have it access as anywhere and everywhere that you're on Wi Fi. That's what I was wondering. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You can send that email. I mean, yeah. I haven't had the background of, I know. David's talking about, hey, there's some things that we can comment on, things like that. I haven't been through that side of it. Maybe you can post it online, too, and all that. Yeah, so we'll see a little more we'll, open. Can you find out if they're going to be at the conference? They will, yes. Okay. So we, they they will. we may be able to look we'll at it. She's having again. a couple of sessions there. Yeah, sessions, yeah. Yep. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah. yeah I went to one last year. Yeah, I went to Yeah. Well, I'm not sure it was this it, it was one very simple. Okay. They only have the one. Okay. It was this one. Okay. Okay. Good. I really was impressed. Okay. Really, really was. So to move, we need to move forward and approve it, I guess. Who is it? OSSBA is the one who. Is that, is that who, we're, who we're going with? Who offers okay. the service? Okay. Oh, is that the Okay. Yes, okay. and the lady who trains works for them. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was maybe a third party deal that was coming in. Yep, they do it. They're the trainer. He yep. checks the work. He used to work at Clinton. Yep. 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 I make a motion we approve OSSBA Digital Board to send in meeting services. I'll second. 
question made by Kenny, seconded by David, to accept the district's subscription to the OSSBA Digital Board Assembly Meeting Services. Kenny? Yes. David? Yes. John? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And Susie? Yes. Action topic H consideration of bids for resurfacing the high school teachers' parking lot. Mm -hmm. Page 45. Um, it would be my recommendation again. My rec any time I'm recommended, it's whether it's the transportation director or the maintenance director, I'm taking their recommendation as well. Meeting with people, and I met with one of these crews, 46, who submitted the bid. They came, did a walkthrough with us. Uh, the other one just submitted a bid. The big difference on the K and R bid versus the bumpers bid. Uh, K and R um, is going to be up to f three to four inches of asphalt. The other one is two inches of asphalt. Um, the other one will come back, do all the striping. It's um, the bid on page 46, added, adding in. You can take off the patchwork repair. That 2350 is no. The only thing we will be doing is the 24840. The patchwork was at the middle school, and we're going to hold off on. Uh, he said four. He said, "Well, I'll promise you, I'll, you, you know." But when you go around, it's going to be up to three, you know, with drops or whatever. But I'm going to lay four, um, but it might settle into three in some places and stuff like that. Well, the other one's only going to lay two. And the striping I've done done as part of it. Just the space the striping is included in the twenty-four. So it's actually eight cheaper. Eight. Eight. It's a cheaper yeah. bid as well. Okay. So that would be my recommendation. Would be the KM. I make a motion we approve KR Construction's bid for the twenty-four thousand eight forty for asphalt and striping. Second. Motion made by John Second by Kenny to, uh, to uh, allow K and R Construction from Cola to resurface the high school teachers' parking lot for twenty-seven thousand one hundred and ninety dollars. John. Yes. Kenny. Yes. Jennifer. Yes. Sagan. Yes. And Susie. Yes. Action topic I consideration of authoriz authorization of the following individuals to serve as assistant board minutes clerk for the 19th May school year. Melissa Kimberton, first assistant board minute clerk, and Judy Hamlin, second assistant board minute clerk. Yeah. <laughs> what this allows us to do is make sure She's like working on something. <laughs> yes. We can have a board meeting. I mean, we cannot have a board meeting if we don't have a minutes clerk, and for some reason, we only have one currently approved. Uh, this gives us a backup and just in case, and a third backup just in case. So, no, we are not replacing anybody. We're just having one of the bullpen. Yeah, which one's a better? <laughs> You've got a beat out there, probably. I, will, I have to say that. Uh, it to be really good to be tonight on that. Yeah. Make sure we the topic I have this. Second. I'm going to make my Kenny second by John to um, allow the following individuals to serve as assistant board member clerks for the 2020 school year. Melissa Pemberton, first assistant, and Judy Hamlin, second assistant. Kenny? Yes. John? Yes. Tim? Yes. <laughs> <I'm good>. yes. <laughs> okay. Executive session A, proposed executive session to discuss and act upon the common business pursuant to 25 Oklahoma Statute 307B1 and of the Open Meeting Act. Number one, discussion to employ cafeteria personnel for the 1920 school year, page 47. Number two, discussion to accept resignation of Kelly Gilmore, middle school teacher, effective August 6, 2019. Number three, discussion to employ a middle school social studies teacher for the 1920 school year, page 48. Number four, discussion to accept resignation of Brandy Goff, middle school teacher assistant, effective August 8, 2019. Make a motion we convene into executive session. Second. Motion made at 740 to convene in executive session. Uh, John? Yes. David? Yes. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Dan and Susie? Yes. Seconded by Jennifer to return the board to open session at 17 p.m. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. John? Yes. David? Yes. Yes. Members present were 
Uh, David Higgins, John Turnstein, Kenny Whitson, Jennifer Turner, Susan White, Adam Bochamp was also present. No votes were taken. Second by John to employ Christy Allen, cafeteria personnel for the 1920 school year. David? Yes. John? Yes. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Christy, yes. I make motion to accept the resignations of Kelly Gilmore and Brandy Goff. I'll second. Motion made by John, second by David to accept the resignation of Kelly Gilmore, middle school teacher, effective August 6, 2019. In the resignation of Brandy Goff, middle school teacher assistant, effective August 8, 2019. John? Yes. David? Yes. Kenny? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Nancy? Yes. yes. Make a motion to employ Melody Hicks for the middle school social studies teacher for the 1920 school. Motion made by Kenny, seconded by David to employ middle school so that, that Melody Hicks, middle school social studies teacher for the 1920 school year. Kenny? Yes. David? Yes. John? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. And Susie? Yes. Um, Time to move on to new business. Any new business? <coughs> no? Okay. Make motion to adjourn. Okay. Motion made by John, taken by Jennifer at 9 a.m. To adjourn, John? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. Kenny? Yes. David? Yes. And Susie? Yes.